Living in exile over the last five decades has given me a distance which allowed me to freely reflect on how Palestine's spiritual and Arab heritage goes back hundreds of years before the country's fall under the colonial rule of Israel. It is from my homeland's cultural roots and visual expression that I continue to derive inspiration for my painting. Albert Camus summed up how I feel after spending a lifetime painting and writing away from my country of birth. Camus wrote, I know with certainty that a man's work is nothing but the long journey to recover through the detours of art the two or three simple and great images which first gained access to his heart. The divided city of Jerusalem I grew up in after 1948 had no art schools or galleries. My earliest exposure to painting was the Byzantine icons I saw at home and in our churches. Their images always struck me with a mysterious presence. Outside our neighborhood, it was the majesty of Arabic calligraphy and the intricate arabesque patterns adorning the Dome of the Rock that mesmerized me. Copying the icon involved drawing a grid to retrace its image. Similarly, the extension of intersecting lines throughout the grid produced an infinite variation of arabesques. It was the mathematical and geometrical principles in both art traditions I grew up in and the spiritual dimensions they shared that instigated my artistic explorations. Thus, geometry became, to my visual expression, what grammar is to the writer. Throughout my painting career, the experience of light had always been central to my work. It was the open sky and the quality of light in Washington, D.C. that lured me in living there for 25 years. I can say the same about choosing to live in Morocco for four years and later in the south of France for 15 years. Perhaps. It is the light of Jerusalem that I have been seeking to recapture all along. The experience of light in nature has continued to be a major source of inspiration in my work. You can see that in the theme of the most recent cycle of paintings I have done. Titled Angelus, the cycle of nine paintings conceived in sets of three refer to the three times of daily prayer. Each painting in the set evokes the day's experience of light at dawn, noon and sunset. I only hope that my paintings inspired by a lifetime spent in exile from Jerusalem could enhance the pleasures of bathing in light that recalls the warmth of one's earliest home. To paraphrase Thomas Merton, I would like my work to serve as a link in the chain of light and of presence. <laughs>